Hi guys, I'm Shmi. You're watching more George. Enjoy. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to what is hopefully going to be a very quick and easy wiper blade upgrade for my Range Rover L322. One of the main things that was letting down the looks of the car was the old style wiper blades that have been phased out now on most cars. Most cars have this new flat aero design for the wiper blades and that is exactly what I've purchased to replace on the L322. However, it is not gonna be as simple as changing over the blades because Land Rover did not make flat style blades for this car. So I've been on good old eBay and I've found a set and the description promises that these blades will fit. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We also, we're also gonna be tidying up the look of the wiper blade arms themselves because after 13 years of this car being alive or on the road, they're looking a little bit shabby and they're not as black as they used to be. So I've bought some aerosol paint as well and we're gonna try and make the wiper arms back to fully black. We're gonna put the flat aero blades on the car and in my opinion, that is gonna really tidy up the front of the car, modernize it slightly and bring it kicking and screaming at its 169,000 miles into 2022. So let's give it a go. I've actually already started, so. so. As you can see here then, I have already fitted the new flat style wiper blade. Before I sprayed anything, I wanted to make sure that these definitely fit because these are my second pair that I've ordered. The first did not fit. So I'll leave a link to these ones from eBay that I found. What I also found when taking the old ones off is that these clips had completely corroded and this wiper blade essentially, you can see how rusty that is. This wiper blade effectively just fell off and all the clips like that snapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old wiper blade on the other side, check the new one also fits that side, then we'll take them back off and get spray painting. So for this, you need a flathead screwdriver to get right in this groove. Unlock the old wiper blade and that, yes, that should just fall out like that. The condition on the blade itself of this one isn't too bad compared to the other one, which was completely, completely corroded all along here. So with this modification, you do actually lose this plastic shield here, which is part of the looks of the car, but I'm hoping once it's on, it's not gonna look like anything's missing. I'm hoping the overall package will be a more modern and fresher look for the car, especially once we get this painted. So all of this has to come out, which is a little bit fiddly, but I now know that the other one fits, so that gives me confidence that if I break anything this side, it shouldn't matter too much. This one is a little bit fiddly and what I don't want to do is damage the metal arm at all. So I'm just gently, I think it is coming. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, the arms are in okay condition, but they are slightly corroded. So the metal on the end there is going to be slightly weaker. That is the last little plastic insert that needs to come out there. And then the new wiper blade just a very easily slots in like that. Perfectly designed oh, for this car. So there we go. So I'll take away, take away these old parts. So already then, before we even get the aerosol black metal paint out, I think having the flat star wiper blades is a huge improvement on the look of the front of the car. Let me know in the comment if I'm the only one, but I think already that is looking a lot more modern and fresh. I do just wanna jump in and test that they are working and that they do the job. Put the ignition on because it would be awful if we got in and they fell off or something. Let's give a little squeeze. Okay, they are working perfectly and leaving no smears, yes, leaving no smears on the windscreen. That was another thing. These wiper blades must have been very old because my windscreen was always so smeary. These are looking nice and slick, perfect. Okay, the plan now is to sand down the wiper arms and then paint them. I'm gonna be a little bit lazy here. Let me show you. Instead of taking the wiper blade arms off the car and then spray painting them like I probably should be. I'm gonna try and cover most of the car 
with this dust sheet, leaving only the wiper blade arms visible, meaning only the wiper blade arms will get painted. That's the idea, that's the theory. Um, mainly because I watched a guy, I can't remember his channel, I watched someone try and remove these and it took him three weeks in the end. He had to slowly drip feed the bolts with WD-40 over a number of weeks before they would even move. So I thought, let's skip that whole step and let's just spray them whilst they're still on the car. Obviously, I don't want any black paint on my bonnet. I don't want any black paint on the windscreen and I definitely don't want any black paint on my camera. So wish me luck going to sand down first. First we have to pop out the new wipers. They pop out just as easily as they popped in, I hope. Yes, much easier getting those off than the old ones. So we'll put those to one side for a second and now to start sanding. That is all lovely and smooth. If this doesn't work, I've just made a real mess of that. That looks awful. Okay, my only concern is that paint may actually go through this, but uh, Let's give it a shot, shall we? Okay, painting complete. I will film again when it's dry. We'll put the new wipers on and then we will see the finished result. I'm, I think that went well. Okay, it is about 30 minutes later and I've come back out and the worst thing that could have happened has happened. And as you may be able to tell, it is raining. That is the unpredictability of the British weather. So whilst I was trying to wait for this to dry, it has rained. So I'm gonna come back and inspect it. On first look, actually, it looks okay and then pop the new wiper blades back on and then get indoors. I actually had the car waxed the other day and yeah, it's beading really nicely, but let's have a look at the wiper blades. Okay, to me, they do look really good. Yes, they look dry. There is now rain on them, obviously, but, but it does look like the rain is on top of the paint, if that makes sense. Just spotted a small section that I've missed. That is a nightmare. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna, I can't leave it. I can't do a job and leave it at 95%. <sighs> okay, then that is it complete. The new wipers, the restoration of the wiper arms from the original to the new aero flat blade style i think looking at this car uh, that is i'm so happy with that actually i'm genuinely excited about that it's the kind of thing that excites me anyway if you enjoyed this video i will leave links below to the paint i used the wiper blades from ebay and i hope this video has been informative and entertaining let me know if you're going to do that i keep looking at it let me know if you're going to do this to your range rover i think this 100 percent freshens up the look of this car and makes it look brand new wow i'm so impressed with that so i am going to go ahead and end off this video here thanks so much for watching if it was useful to you i would really appreciate a thumbs up please also consider subscribing to the channel as well to see more videos with this car any other videos you guys want to see please let me know in a comment say hello in a comment anyway do you have one of these are you looking for one of these what other cars do you have i'd love to know i'd love to hear more about you guys watching in a comment below so thanks again and i will see you in the next video goodbye